Do you know it only takes 26 seconds for the chemicals in your personal care products to be absorbed in your body? So I want to ask you a question. Do you know what you are absorbing into your body? Now, if you don't, don't worry. Because I will go over some of these toxic chemicals that are having an insidious effect to your health. And I will show you alternatives of moisturizing creams and other personal care products. Okay, let's get straight into it with number one. Parabens. Now, what I first want to mention is that parabens can appear in different forms. These are the names you have to watch out for. Parabens is a preservative which is quite prevalent in the cosmetic industry. Why do they use it? Because of all the dollars. It stops the bacteria, mold, fungus, parasites, etc, etc from growing on the products, which means longer shelf life. Parabens also contain similar properties of estrogen, which ladies, gets absorbed through the skin into the bloodstream and majority of breast cancer tumor patients have had traces of parabens in their breast and also to the men it can cause testicular cancer having a mimicking ingredient of female hormones estrogen put into your body and i don't think any man wants that especially if you're aspiring to be a bodybuilder or mma fighter or something along that nature now, you might also want to investigate parabens in your foods and in pharmaceutical products. Number two, petroleum. For all you motorheads out there that use it for your motor oil, yes, it is the same substance. It's in so many cosmetic products and appears in different forms again like parabens. These are the names you have to watch out for. Why should you avoid it and why is it bad? Well, it contains compound 1,4-dioxane. Interesting enough, it has been listed by the World Health Organization and the Environmental Protection Agency as a probable carcinogen. For those who do not know what carcinogen means, a substance capable of causing cancer in a living tissue. Number three, triclosan. Triclosan is found in antimicrobial, antibacterial products such as hand sanitizers, deodorants, etc. Interesting enough, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, it's technically a pesticide. Yes, it is meant to kill bacteria, and it does. However, not all bacteria is bad for you. It has also been shown to work as a hormone and thyroid disruptor and also a skin irritant. There have been studies concerning that triclosan contributes to making bacteria antibiotic resistant. Another thing to add is that there wasn't enough studies in supporting evidence using triclosan that it has any more benefits over just using regular soap and water to wash your clothes etc. Number four, formaldehyde. It is commonly found in nail polish, body shampoos, hair shampoos, uh, conditioners, women's makeups like eyeshadows, etc. Formaldehyde is another popular ingredient as a preserve to prevent bacteria growth for more shelf life so that it can be sellable for a longer period of time. It was actually considered as a human carcinogen at the International Agency for Research on Carcinogen. How ironic, isn't it? Formaldehyde is harmful to the immune system and is common to cause allergic skin reactions. Number five, fragrance and for ladies. This, is, this one here is one of the most misleading and hidden ingredients. Just the term fragrance is ambiguous itself. So what is the meaning of it? Well, let's touch on this for a second, shall we? The term fragrance was created to protect a company's so-called secret formula. 
you will be putting a mixture of various ingredients and elements that contain millions of chemicals that are toxic and bad for your health. It is commonly used in perfumes, cologne, shampoos, conditioners, body washes, etc. and moisturizers. The fix are connected to headaches, dizziness, asthma, allergies, dermatitis, respiratory distress and potential effects on the reproductive system according to the Environmental Working Group from Skin Deep Database. I put for ladies in the same category as fragrance because for ladies majority of the time are not listed in the ingredients labels of the products. It is always hidden by the misleading term as fragrance ingredients. As I alluded to the fact that it's not disclosed on the majority of the products and is added to so-called fragrances. And when I spoke about the loophole in the legislation about secret formula, which is the way they circumvent this. It is also used in lots of products to increase flexibility and softness of plastic. It is used in nail polishes, perfumes, lotions, moisturizers, hair products, deodorants, colognes, etc, etc. This has been found to act as a hormone disruptor that is associated with reproductive birth defects in males and females. Also, insulin resistance and developmental problems in children. Also, increased risk of breast cancer and early breast development in girls. It's best to stay away from this and get something that has essential oils. The more natural you can get, the more better. Artificial dyes and synthetic colors. When you look in the ingredient label list, look for FD and C or D and C. They represent artificial colors. The letter F meaning food and D and C representing drug and cosmetics. They are derived from petroleum and also coal tar sources. These synthetic colors are shown to be a human carcinogen, also skin irritant, also skin sensitivity due to the heavy metals they deposit on your skin and are also linked to ADHD in children. The European Union has banned this because they consider it as a human carcinogen. These ingredients are most common on women's makeup, lipsticks, powders, etc. and majority of personal care products. So the next time you go looking for a product and you see FDNC or DNC, the best thing you can do is put it back where you got it from. Number 7. Benzyl Peroxide Since my teenage years, I've seen very popular products that were pushing out for acne, pimple washes, etc. And benzyl peroxide is the key ingredient for this. It has toxic effect to your body from inhalation. It is also a skin, eye and respiratory irritant. The dangerous thought of it is that it has been linked with tumor growth. It is also really toxic if you swallow it. Now you wonder why you see poison control centers, poison core centers in the back of the products. Number eight, oxybenzone. Now this ingredient is an active ingredient and is common on sunscreen products. According to the study by US Centers for Disease Control, they found oxybenzone in 97% of Americans urine. The fact that it's present in 97% of Americans urine, which means chances are high that oxybenzone is already present in your body, which is scary. The danger of this chemical is associated with skin irritant and allergies and affects the hormone disruption and low birth weights in baby girls. Number 9. Toluene. Did you know this chemical is a potent solvent which is a paint thinner? It is also a petrochemical which comes from petroleum, also coal tar sources. Just like parabens, again, it comes in different forms such as these. The dangers of this chemical is that 
it has been linked to immune system toxicity and affects your respiratory system also irritates your skin and causes nausea it's commonly used on nail polish nail treatments hair products like hair colors and bleaching products etc well i'm not going to even bother trying to attempt to pronounce this chemical but i'll just use the word nit which is short this is a common antibacterial preservative commonly used in baby shampoos to moisturize it. They have done studies on this chemical and it's shown to contain neurotoxic properties, which should be a great concern to all. One of the studies that they did was with rats and what they discovered was just in 10 minutes of exposure to MIT was just enough to cause brain cell damage. The defense major skincare companies always use is that MIT in small concentrations is used. And interesting enough, the products that have it are meant to be rinsed off. The fact that we know some of its side effects is a very good reason why we should not take any risk for you or for your loved ones. I just named 10 toxic chemicals that are in your personal care products and there are many more I can assure you that and hopefully in the near future I'll make a more in-depth video about it. In the next video I'll show you how to make natural skin cream moisturizers that won't break your bank account and that is healthy and totally chemical free as well as making natural deodorants and washing powders and other natural uh, alternatives. Guys, just before we end this, I really strongly encourage every single one of you to go and research and educate yourself before you buy anything. Because whatever you put on your skin might be just more toxic than whatever you put in your mouth. You'll put all the time and energy into the things that you love, so why not use the same time and energy into your health? Because you only have one body and one life. Guys, start taking care of yourself now, otherwise you might just reap what you sow later in the future with sickness. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is The Veracity and I'll see you next video. That is the mission to run and control everything and that is the detonation. But we gotta set that truth straight in order to be set free. And that's how it has to be.